The James Webb Telescope is one of the most expensive and ambitious projects out there, and finally, after $10 billion in almost two decades, we're getting to see the results. So here are 14 images that were captured by the James Webb Telescope. The first image is of NGC 2525. As a part of one of its critical investigations, measuring the universe's expansion rate can assist answering fundamental concerns about the nature of our universe. Webb has recently released an unprecedented time-lapse of this galaxy, which is rapidly vanishing. The second image is of NGC 1015. It's located 108 million light-years away from Earth in the constellation Cetus, or the Whale. NGC 1015 is laced on in this view, with its symmetrical swirling arms and dazzling central bulge creating a spectacle reminiscent of a sparkling Catherine wheeled firework. The third image is NGC 7049. The view in the constellation Indus in the southern sky was taken by the NASA James Webb Space Telescope. As dazzling dots sprinkled around the galactic halo, a family of globular clusters appears. Uh, personally, to me, it looks absolutely mesmerizing, like desktop screensaver worthy. I mean, this is just so soothing. Look at the spirals. The fourth image was of Stevens Quintet. Stefans, whatever. <laughs> the new Wide Field Camera 3, which is WFC3 on board the web, captured this image. As the name suggests, Stefans Quintet is a collection of five galaxies. I know you're also stunned by these images. Well, I guess I should say you probably are. The contrast is so beautiful. The fifth image is of the barred spiral galaxy NGC 6217. This was imaged on February 13th and 17th of 2022 as part of Jane Webb's ACS's initial testing and calibration. The galaxy is up to 90 million light years away, in the north circumpolar constellation Ursa Major. Many colorful stars are crowded close together in this image in the globular cluster NGC 1805, taken by the James Webb Telescope. The large Magallanic Cloud, a satellite star galaxy of our own Milky Way, is home to a dense cluster of thousands of stars. This image is something that we have never seen before. These new findings came as a result of an extraordinarily unusual astronomical event. A twin supernova in NGC 6980. It was an impossibly intense explosion on a truly huge scale triggered by the death of massive stars. Photo courtesy of James Webb. Next up, we got a spiral galaxy, the Wide Field Imager, or the WFI, at NASA's slash ESA Webb Telescope. It captured this image of the spiral galaxy. NGC 3621 is located in the constellation Hydra, nicknamed the Sea Snake, and it's about 22 million light years away. It's relatively bright and visible with telescopes of moderate size. So, if you got a telescope, have a look at it tonight. You probably won't be disappointed. It's pretty cool. The ninth image is of NGC 253. Now, 253 is one of our galaxy's closest neighbors. It's, br it's a brilliant spiral in the southern constellation of Sculptor that's roughly 13 million light years away from Earth. It's known for having a starburst galaxy with very active star production and dusty spiral arms. The thick clouds of dust along the galaxy's spiral arms become virtually transparent in the infrared, revealing a slew of cool red stars that would otherwise be completely undetectable. Now this image is of the neighboring galaxy Messier 83. This camera's excellent image quality and the VLT's massive light collecting power display and it displays a large number of stars around our galaxy. The photographs were captured in three different sections of the infrared spectrum, with a total exposure period of eight and a half hours, divided over into 500 one-minute exposures. The next image is of NGC 7098, which is a fascinating spiral galaxy with multiple sets of double features located approximately 95 million light years away in the southern constellation of Octans. The first of NGC 7098's two parts is a pair of prominent ring-like formations that circle around the hazy center of the galaxy. The spiral arms of NGC 7098 have wrapped themselves around the galaxy's bright nucleus. A second double feature can be found in the central region, a double bar. The following image is of my personal favorite, the Prawn Nebula. 
The Prawn Nebula is a massive star in stellar nursery, which can be seen in the new image as bright, rumbling clouds of gas. The James Webb Telescope captured this image, depicting groups of scorching young stars snuggling amongst the nebulous clouds like a bunch of little cutie pies. Very hot, dangerous cutie pies. The next image is of Galaxy NGC 2442. In the constellation of Volans, the deformed galaxy NGC 2442 is known as the Meat Hook Galaxy. It's approximately 50 million light years away, and the galaxy is 75,000 light years across, and it has two dusty spiral arms stretching from a prominent center bar, giving it, uh, like you probably would have guessed, a hook like appearance. The warped shape of the galaxy was most likely caused by a near encounter with a smaller, undetected galaxy. The image was obtained using three filters, B250S, V187S, R150S. The last image is of Galaxy NGC 3190. The NASA ESA James Webb Space Telescope captured this image of the magnificent edge-on spiral galaxy NGC 3190, which has got some nice feet aesthetics, got some tightly curled arms and a twisted form that resembles a giant potato crisp. Supernova SN2002BO is located in the southwestern region of NGC 3190, between the V of the dust lanes. This color composite was created with FORS1 on the UT2 in four filters for a total of exposure period to 14 minutes on March 9th of 2022. These fantastic images were taken by the telescope, and they are a marvel to look at, man. Like, not, not just like, oh, I've got false charisma and enthusiasm because I'm doing a YouTube video. Like, straight up, these are cool as hell. All right. So, hope that was genuine enough for you. <laughs> Anyways, later.